Of course, you've got to tell the story. I mean, you're not, you're not going over overdrive to try to tell a story. That's where the failure happens with a lot of people, a lot of actors, is they try to do something. They've got to have, they got to have a prop. <laughs> You've got to have a prop to uh, get something across instead of what's in here. What, what, what beats in your heart that, that uh, brings you to where you are? The best teacher I ever had was a park bench. I'd go in and sit on a park bench and just watch people and see how they acted in different situations. And, just just sit there for hours and watch people react to things and how they did it, how they dealt with it. And paid attention to what happened to me and I dealt, how I dealt with things and filed that away. Sometimes I'm not good at dealing with things and a lot of people are not good at doing things. In film, you see people who are not good at dealing with things. So you think to yourself, oh yeah, that happened to me. You mean on the set, or do yeah. you mean yeah. on the set? Yeah, no, on, on, while, you're, while you're working on a script. And you find yourself at a point in the middle of it all. You don't know what you're going to do uh, until you're in the middle of it. Then you discover something from the other actors. A lot of people have uh, an inconceived notion that this is going to happen before they get to the set. This is what I'm going to do. Not taking into account what's going to happen when they're with the other person. Because instead of, 95% of all acting is listen to the other actor. Listen to what they're saying. Listen to what, watch what they're doing. Who taught you that? How did you Me. find that out? Me. 